A Macon woman is charged with murder in the death of her three-year-old child. She's accused of beating him to death. Jamisha Reed made her first appearance in court today, but remained silent in front of the judge. 41 NBC Skylar Henry joins us live from Reed's home with more on this investigation. Skylar, what do we know so far? And I'm here right now in, uh, in front of Jamisha Reed's home on Mutual Avenue in Macon. We know that this case is no longer a first-degree child cruelty charge. Police say that when they got to the scene, they found Reed's son, Jakari's body, lifeless and unresponsive. And they quickly found out that there was more to the story. We've got cell phone video of the police scene right after officers responded to Wednesday's 911 call. Jamisha Reed is charged with the murder of her three-year-old son, Jakari. She made her first appearance in front of a judge on Wednesday and remained silent. According to the Macon Police Incident Report, Reed called 911 and said her son had passed out after possibly drinking nail polish remover. But the responding officer wrote in that same report they didn't smell anything around the child. I knocked on the door to her home and Reed's girlfriend, who didn't want to be interviewed, said they were new to the area. Neighbors say Reed and her family moved into the home about a week ago. The Macon Police Department sent a release saying that after the child was carried to the medical center of Central Georgia, doctors discovered injuries to his body and head. I heard what appeared to be like someone was getting a whooping, a really bad whooping. but um. I just thought it was an older child. Carol Vassar has lived in the neighborhood for five years. She says she's never seen so many police cars at one time by her home. No, we didn't know. We don't know them. Everybody like close knit around here. We know everybody and basically know what's going on. So it's not like something like that to happen. It's a kid friendly neighborhood. Vassar says her son is the one who told her that the ambulance was outside and that something was going on. I kind of thought felt bad because, you know, we live in this neighborhood and if we hear stuff like that, we just really need to pay attention to what's going on in your neighborhood. God bless them. God bless them. And we're going to pray for her and her family too. Now, I spoke with Bibb County Coroner Leon Jones, who told me that when he told Reed that her son had died, she didn't say anything. She was unresponsive. Now, her next court date is on June 6th, and stay with 41 NBC for the very latest. For now, reporting live in Macon, Skylar Henry, 41 NBC News.